you are seeing here are IMSA mechanics in their natural habitat. It's not quite feeding time at the IMSA Zoo, but through the little portal right here, you can hand them bananas and all man. Okay, we're just kidding. What this is is actually part two of our walk and talk with IMSA president, John Doonan, going through the paddock here, the garages at Daytona, an amazing 2024 season ahead. But we're gonna get going with part two here, but do indeed enjoy the observation window with some mighty, mighty amazing people. We have Porsches. We have Porsches. We have a really happy, smiley person who sadly looks a little bit too much like me on the front of this Kelly Moss and Riley Porsche. Then we have possibly the greatest addition to the IMSA grid in many years, that being Rexy. Rexy, though, has some new family. Yeah, I think Rexy, Roxy, Spike is over in uh, LMP2 garage area. But what AO Racing has done to lift uh, I would say uh, attachment and uh, captivated the minds of our fans, especially the young fans. They're hot wheels. Uh, they are hot seat. wheels is, is exactly right. And again, another tie to what we're doing on the racetrack to retail, but you know, clearly the 911 GT3 R is a staple um, in the class. And you know, given where we have headed with the BOP process and the engagement and collaboration with all the OEMs, uh, besides the great looking cars, I'm yeah. expecting an absolutely incredible, incredible battle uh, from start to finish with, you know, 11 manufacturers. And if you look around the world where GT3 cars are raced, I don't think there's a, a bigger representation of manufacturers uh, that will be competing uh, than here in the IMSA WeatherTech Championship. So really proud of that. So speaking of proud, we have some hard to miss branding that declares we are in the land of Lamborghini. Iron Lynx, these amazing Huracan GT3 Evos. You look at the three beautiful cars here from Iron Dames, right? Iron Lynx. But think about what's coming as well, John, at Sebring. We won't have the SC63 Lamborghini Hybrid GTP car here to debut at Daytona. That just makes sure everybody has to show up at Sebring though, right? Yeah, for sure. And, and those who were at the December test here at Daytona International Speedway saw and heard uh, the new GTP car from Lamborghini. Uh, we're thrilled to welcome them uh, in the top category. But like you say, um, they've been a staple in GT, continue to grow. Of course, on the single make side, like Mustang Challenge, like Ferrari Challenge, like Carrera Cup, uh, like Mazda MX-5 Cup, um, they've done an amazing job with Lamborghini Super, Super Trofeo and tied it all together. But uh, thrilled to have Iron Lynx, Iron Lynx with us, the Iron Dames team. Obviously a, a historical win for them uh, last year and, and uh, thrilled to tie the two together, GT and then up to GTP. Speaking of Iron Dames, you looked at the initiative here with some amazing women racers. Again, you even see the branding on the car, women driven by dreams. The owner, the owners of Iron Dames and Iron Lynx, they're doing big things beyond just the motor racing side. Thrilled uh, with what Deborah and uh, Claudio have brought um, to the garage area, to the series, to the paddock. Um, you know, uh, we're talking horsepower here, but they're talking horsepower of a different kind yeah. with some equestrian programs, um, young women development, which ties directly to what Lynn St. James and, and her organization have done with women in motorsports North America. And um, of course, as I walk up and down the paddock, uh, the more females involved in engineering, in uh, team uh, turn and wrenches, um, hospitality, you name it, uh, behind the wheel. Uh, we've got it, and, and we're thrilled that they're a part of it. And we also have down under represented with our friend Kenny Habul, right? Mercedes. This is just a gorgeous, yeah, shiny, I mean, shiny thing, isn't it? The uh, AMG Mercedes defending race winner with yep. the WeatherTech car last year. Uh, they worked hard to get their win. They finally got it last year. But uh, as you know, around the world, this car has had so much success yeah. in endurance races from Bathurst to Nürburgring to uh, Macau, you, you name it. Uh, they've been in victory lane and really another example of a, a manufacturer tying their road car bred uh, philosophies to the racetrack and vice versa. So 
Uh, kudos to Stefan Vendel and everybody uh, at Mercedes. And there's nobody that brings more fun than Kenny Habul, one of the great independent team owners and drivers. We even have some WWF wrist bandage going on in here too. I mean, <laughs> how, food in how, the, uh, in the reservoir. how could we not love everything they're about? John, we saw the FAF McLaren GTD Pro. The green end plates tell us this is GTD, but here's the inception team we spoke of with their McLaren busy at work. One of the great parts of this day, this Thursday before the roar, a lot of little finishing items, whether it's graphics, whether it's tear-offs, whether it's little electronic pieces being put in, there's still a lot of work going on. The cars come here ready, but there's always just a little bit of finishing up work to be done. We see our friends yeah, here no. at Inception as well. An excellent privateer team. Excellent privateer team. Um, obviously, Brandon Ribe, uh, earned the Bob Aiken Award last year uh, back for more and uh, we'll see him over in France in June which is an exciting part of the Bob Aiken Award obviously Jim Truman Award in LMP2 very similar yeah uh, George Kurtz is the winner of that but you're right uh, the cars show up prepared I think an onboard camera from BSI is going yeah. in for the NBC sports broadcast um, and and this team continues to grow and I think the other tie for this one is not all of the manufacturers, but almost all, have a GTD Pro effort yep. and a GTD effort, which shows me, again, that tie between the, the, the manufacturer supporting uh, customer racing. And that business model works for these race teams, but it works for the manufacturer and it provides a stable platform and I think a sustainable platform business-wise to keep everybody involved in the sport. Another great success story, John, this Cordoff Preston Motorsports team. So much talent, another fine privateer. I love these stories because it is a bunch of good folks, racers, love endurance competition, get a great car like this Mercedes or one of the many models we've seen. And if you have quality people and quality drivers, you can go for victories, you can go for podiums. You don't have to worry about whether you can do that in IMSA, it is possible. Yeah, one of the core values, as you know, that IMSA was founded on by Bill France Sr. and John and Peggy Bishop was the idea that uh, anyone who wants to go racing can do so at a variety of levels. The underpinnings, the foundation of uh, IMSA certainly is these customer teams, these privateer efforts, certainly matched up with uh, the factory efforts, if you will. The Ward uh, family here, perfect example. 100%. Um, they continue to be uh, back for more, not only in the WeatherTech Championship, but in the Michelin Pilot Series as well. Um, so a really significant uh, grid, a full selection that if, if you're a car person and you can't find something here that you don't like, uh, there's something wrong. Another example next door of the Acura, you know, not a, a, a program that has a team in GTD Pro, but you know, a long-standing uh, staple with the Acura uh, NSX um, and of course um, down the road of, is, is this, the, the black horse, the prancing horse of, uh, of uh, Ferrari with the 296 GT3 back for more. Uh, expect big things out of the Ferrari this year. We have Tatiana Calderon here in this 66 Acura as well. Uh, gradient racing team, just talent stacked upon talent. So happy to see this is the fun variety where you show up. It's kind of like the first day of school. Yeah. I was thinking that a Thursday here at the Roar, right? Deliveries. I mean, look, you get the front of the car fully exposed, all the cool technical stuff you can look at and try and digest. Yeah, Andrus has done an incredible job uh, with Gradient, and uh, I uh, also expect big things continuing out of uh, anything that he has his hands on. John, another thing that we love seeing, again, the customer side you've mentioned, or we have the Factory Pro, Corvette racing programs here, AWA, another one of the amazing Canadian teams participating in IMSA, a pair of Corvette Z06 GT3s. Yeah, um, gives me chills to know that we've got these uh, foundational teams. They, they came from LMP3, um, defending race winners here yes. in LMP3, AWA, um, took that next step um, with a customer program in, in GTD 
So uh, excited to see them. Very striking liveries on both cars. And it, I have to say, it's nice because we know we have the Corvette yellow. Correct. That's a standard, but uh, look at this. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah, it looks like a hologram. Uh, it's a really pretty car. And you bring back some uh, long-standing IMSA drivers who honed their skills in some of the single makes or, or some of the uh, you know, Michelin pilot type levels or the VPRC uh, levels. And then, uh, of course, uh, the, prancing horse. the prancing horse. And, you know, the 296 GT3, uh, amazingly beautiful race car. Um, another tie is the 296 becomes the Ferrari Challenge car this yeah. year. There's a transition to that. Um, another beautiful race car. Um, drivers from all over the world. Uh, great story here with Manny Franco. Um, started in Ferrari Challenge honed his skills, um, has done an incredible job over there, winning many races, but now makes the step up into the WeatherTech Championship. So it's a great story of a ladder program, much like Porsche has had, much like Ford is initiating, much like Mazda has had. Um, so many of these brands from the beginning entry levels all the way up to the top. And you gotta love, not only you think you and I get some wrenches. You think we can pull this motor? I, I think I got some ideas of what I could use this in, but just the beautiful little Ferrari accents, right? You look at the 296 into the, uh, the rear Lexan here. Another fun little grace note, John. Alessandro Balzan, right? He's Champion, back. right? He's back. Champion driver back. Scuderia Corsa, the team that he was with there, but just proof that if you've got talent, even if you take a few years away, there's going to be a home for you here in IMSA. Yeah, and they come uh, through Eric Bachelard's Conquest uh, program. So another tie where, where Mr. Balzan, coaching in Ferrari Challenge, comes over here, of course, as a seasoned pro, as you say, former champion, uh, now back uh, with, a, with a solid full season program. And this car will be a full season entry yes. in 2024. Seriously, you need to be here. Whether it's Daytona, Sebring, we've got Long Beach, we head out to Monterey, VIR, CTM, like, you, the cool thing, and we'll keep preaching this, John, I don't know if you can come exactly in here like this, but you can get pretty darn close, get really close to the cars. The crews are so welcome and inviting. It's one of the great aspects about IMSA. There's no crowd barriers, be 100 feet away. You get to be up close and really immerse yourself in the culture. Yeah, and if it's not here in the garage area, it's certainly at the autograph session. It's certainly on the grid walk. Grid. And uh, as you know, most every circuit we have allows for you to go right up to the fence at any corner that you'd like. So um, it's gonna be an incredible season. Uh, I've got chills uh, to see a uh, full garage area here with a lot of activity this morning. Um, really gives me energy. I know it gives my staff energy uh, because we're gonna deliver um, our best effort to try to top what uh, was a record setting 2023. Make sure you follow along with us on IMSA's official YouTube channel and follow IMSA Racing on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and X. We're going to be doing some pretty cool stuff with some pretty cool people with some pretty cool race cars. Visit IMSA.com to hear the action called live and download the official IMSA app to follow the timing and scoring information as the sessions take place.